seasons of youthfulness seasons where your destiny helpers are around maximize those seasons to build capacity spiritual capacity intellectual capacity use these seasons to build capacity are we learning so that's the first thing we do with seasons of opportunity number one build capacity your prayer life your word life your time with god because you see there are responsibilities that leadership of all sorts will bring into your life that may not allow you the convenience to do certain things with the liberty you had to do before again hallelujah number two what do you do with these seasons the seven your seven years of abundance your seven years of fatness the second thing you do is build quality relationships build quality relationships that's what we do with these seasons build quality relationships ecclesiastes chapter 4 please let's hurry up We'll read from verse 9 9 to 12 ecclesiastes chapter 4 build relationships yes what the bible says two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor so the two people must not be lazy the bible says two of them have labor is that true it says for if they fall one will lift up his fellow but woe to him that is alone when he falleth for he hath not another to help him up uh-huh again if two lie together they have heat but how can one be warm alone 12 and if one prevail against him two shall withstand him and a threefold cord is not easily broken can i tell you during your seasons of plenty your seven years of plenty that is the time to pray in the spirit and say lord bring destiny relationships to my life bring quality people who love me because of me quality people who are not just looking for money or titles our world is full of people who will prey on you and climb you like ladders to where they want to go you need quality people can i tell you this woe betides a man who is full of men but does not have relationships how many people today have stepped into their dark days and their dark moments and there's almost no one look at jesus your jesus my jesus when jesus was on his way to god got a question where were all the people who received miracles from his crusade those who had five thousand um, um, um five loaf and two fish where were they where were all the women who were singing his praises hosanna blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord where were even his disciples they ran away Paul so ran away Paul called a small girl woman because he was running away from Jesus I mean Peter Peter you look like you have no 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 I've not been with him it was only John that stayed when Jesus was on the cross do not let circumstances choose your relationships choose your relationships with understanding sit down with the word and with the spirit of wisdom and ask yourself what kind of destiny do i desire ah woe betides any man when you are in moments i've taught you this about relationships that you are in dark days and seasons in your life and there is nobody to call you to say i hear you just lost this election but we are standing by you we love you genuinely i hear you just lost money one billion naira just disappeared can i tell you if you need food provided i am alive your children will not beg for food i will keep paying their school fees till you recover can i tell you not everybody is greedy there are sincere people they, they are hard to find but pay the price to find them Let me ask you an honest question. The first time I taught this message, I asked that question and I want to ask it now. Is there someone right now, as you're looking at me, is there someone in your life you can honestly call for help no matter what time of the day or night and they will get up and respond to you? If you don't have such a person, your life is in danger now. 
I am telling you, Apostle, I am uh, what they call that thing where people like you, um, they like you. Uh, oh dear, I can't remember it now. No, no, it's not photogenic, photogenic is camera. Yes, yes, psycho fans. I, there's something in me that makes everybody like me think again let me tell you think again men are selfish when you look like a ladder you will see many of them let them just see you looking like a ladder and here they come ready to climb messlessly there are many of us here right now the reason why you are almost dying of depression is because there is nobody in your life who can stand and say let's pray i came to spend the whole weekend with you because i hear you were bereaved i cancelled all my programs and you say why did you do that because of love to let you know there are still genuine people genuine people are scarce they are like gold pay the price to find them early is someone learning now I tell you, if you have the wealth of men, genuine men who love Jesus and love you, you are wealthy indeed. Yes. There are people today who may not have connections. They may not have educational qualifications, but God has honored them with the gift of men. They can call and say, please, I don't mean to insult you, but there is someone who is sick and they say, for you, I'm on my way coming. Do you know your name can be a key or a padlock? Your lifetime is what decides it. There are people today who have changed their names because if they ever tell people they are carrying that son name, they'll say, which one? Mention the name again. That other one, where was he in 1971 to 1975? Oh, he walked with railway. Go out of my office. And you, you just refresh a painful wound and something that was a key becomes a padlock. I forbid your name from becoming a padlock. Is someone learning tonight? Yes. Build relationships. Powerful relationships. I may not have the school fees to pay for my child. And someone says, over my dead body, I remember what you did for me in 1981. And I vow that for as long as I'm alive, there are people who have gone to be with the Lord today, but they went to be with the Lord smiling because they saw people standing before them that they knew will make sure their children don't cry. And they say, I will live in peace because I know that someone will be there to defend me. There are people who, it's not the fear of death that makes them cry. It's the fact that they know that if, they, if, they, if their breath ceases today, they will shred their entire names and their families into pieces. Please like what I'm sharing. I'm teaching you by the Spirit. This is what we gain when we come to the house of God. So, all the people you are insulting in your office because you have money, all the people you are insulting around for us young people who are insulting fathers insulting everybody i give you a i don't know if it's a good or bad news but it's a news a serious news that one day one day you will reap from that seed you are sowing there are people today who are not supposed to have certain jobs but just because they mentioned this you know this man let me tell you in so 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 years and a job interview becomes a long story and after you talk to the person you say by the way where are you staying says i honestly as i'm i just came to abuja i don't even know the name of the area where i am and the person says go and get him a place at my cost and you see the person and say i hope you are doing things correctly say i'm reaping from the benefits of someone's relationship be careful how you treat people be careful how you treat people be careful how you treat people. One day the person you are looking down, you will open the door of an office and see him sitting down. And he will say, welcome, you can be seated because from here you are going to prison. Straight. Straight. Give him minerals. As soon as you are done, you are going to prison straight. I know we are laughing, 
but I hope we're hearing what God is saying because God is speaking There are